Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K. I'm Burning Dogface, and last time, I let a frustrating situation get to me. But no worries. Or this time, we are going to show this dragon what uh, for. What's this then? Another bloody rat? I'll show you what for, you mangy little. <laughs> Wait! I'm no not rat. Not to quote him I'm there, but you know. Right. And I'm a snake with a gland condition. Eat smoke, ratty. Why does he have a cockney accent, anyway? I mean, it's not a good cockney accent, but, you know. I don't know if that's cockney, actually. I'm not great at identifying individual British accents. Uh oh. No momentum on that one. Those obelisks back there say these obelisks will help point the way to the, uh... Demon's Portal. So, let's see... Yeah. And since the portal isn't between these and there's none on the other side, I have to imagine I just have to keep going. Because fuck you, that's why. Is this a test? Is that what it's gonna be? Maybe he's being annoying on purpose to see if I can handle it. Is that Tabasco sauce? Dragon's gut. Awesome. This does in fact appear to be a kitchen. You have found a light potion. A light will follow you for half a minute, lighting your environment. Darn. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't care. Uh... Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Am I supposed to? This looks like where I'm supposed to be going. So what the fuck was down that other tunnel? Awesome. Jeez, I just don't know! Oh, hey! I've progressed further than Zhu Yan, but couldn't get to the end of the Dragon Cave. I, take the, I could take the first hurdles, which greatly annoyed Torchi. After that, I couldn't manage to move on further, but I found out something. When Torchi talked in his sleep, I heard something with two cat statues and a sword. You probably have to activate the two cat statues to get to the sword. But I couldn't find out more. I'm leaving. Saying you. Sorry about that, I hit the recording button instead of A. How embarrassing. Find and activate the two cat statues to get the sword upgrade. Okay. I can't go the right way. Because one of the the optional way has to have a cat statue or two in it. That has to be the way it works. And my gut is telling me that 
one of them is a big obvious cave, and the other one is hidden in a pot. And one of them is more likely to be the obvious, and one of them is more likely to be the right way than uh, the other. Holy Christ, this map sucks. Okay, that's uh, one thing. No, oh, it's riches! Hey! That's nice. I found a magic container. I can now carry one magic point more. For five magic points. You, I was actually about to say for five magic point to reduce, you can execute a magic attack, which hurts all opponents near you. The, uh, mini-map continues past that fallen rock. HA! At no point was I taught I could do that. That's kind of bullshit. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to call shenanigans on this. He knows that, uh... If he knows... If he has a cat statue... If he has two cat statues in his base, he knows what a cat looks like. I wonder if there are any other things like this I've missed. Well, that's okay. No, 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 wait, I just go back this way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I wonder if the sword upgrade is an apology for last time. The dragon's no, gullet. Stop. I'm fighting the rats too. Whiskers and tails, rats ye hail. Man, what a racist. Not all mammals are the same, you know. Ah! Uh, it's making it much more difficult to get those. Ow! I haven't found a save point yet. I was trying to reflect it back that time. Yeah. Maybe this is simultaneously a test and a chance for him to indulge his quiet racism. The Tale of the Racist Dragon. Make a nice title for a video. And I'm in the sewers. I haven't seen any more of those, uh, obelisks. I'm thinking about things. Unless that's one. No, it's a tab. Let me guess. I got further than the last guy, but I gave up. I have progressed further than anybody else, but in my opinion, it's impossible to get any deeper into the dragon's cave. I have my doubts that any creature short of another dragon could do better. 
but I found out something else important. A few steps from here, there's the cat statue Sheng Li talked about. But alas, I couldn't reach it because I couldn't find the mechanism to make it accessible. Xi Ying. I think that's pronounced more like a J than a Z when it's ZH. Fuck if I know. Oh. Oh. They kind of just look like poi. I say no, no, it's koi, koi, koi pond. Yes, that's right. What's a poi? Oh, a poi is uh those things you spin around yourself on fire as a form of uh traditional dance. Well, there's no dive buton, so. That bugs me. I thought he just said a few steps from here. Yeah, a few steps from here. But I didn't see it. Plus, the cat statue is also invisible. Yay. Oh god. I can't remember if I mentioned it before, but it kind of annoys me that the, the thing on Kay's back is apparently supposed to be a scabbard, but you can't actually see a sword sticking out of it. I remember when I played, uh, you know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask on the 64, that was one of the things that I thought was coolest about it. Well, I'm done with combat. Instead of just running around with my sword out, I'm just gonna put it away. I think, uh... Twilight Princess on the GameCube had a... thing where... Oh, shit! I need to get out of the water! Fuck, I totally forgot about the timer! Ah. You know, Twilight Princess had a thing where if you push the sheath button, I'm pretty sure it was just A, right after you defeat an enemy encounter, then Link would do this really fancy, dramatic uh, re-sheathing of his sword. Again, I apologize for constantly comparing this to Zelda, but, you know, it's not the only one. I mean, you know, the same era, uh, let's say Final Fantasy VII, I was actually really, I thought it was really cool that the, uh, characters visibly held different weapons, and you equipped different weapons. That was the first game I can remember seeing where they did that. So it's just kind of a bummer that Kay has this, uh, scabbard thing on his back, but there's no sword in it. You know, it seems to me that he, uh... Because he doesn't use it, it just seems like he's got a bedroll on his back. That looks like a dead end, so, uh... Good place to put a statue, anyway.
What the hell? Fucking A, I'm glad I have a health potion. Now I actually do wish I'd taken that one earlier. That was embarrassing. That was all on me. That was not a design flaw. Well, I mean, yes, it's a design flaw with the building, but... Red dragons have fireproof scales, so... The fuck does he care? Is that what he means? The statue is at the end of the hallway, but he can't reach it because... It's too far away to swim. zoomed in. How useless. Come on, Kay, you can do this. Oh shit, there is a cat statue there. And gold! Riches! Let's just take whatever is in this box. And that box. It feels unnatural to have all these pots lying around that I can't smash. Sure, rig the uh, shitty clay ones, but not the expensive ones. Take that! Yes! Now I just need to figure out where that is. <laughs> God, what a useless map. Yes, um, the manual saving is my one big complaint, but coming in close at second is the map. I mean, most of the other things, I get it, you know. It just stands out more because they're trying to be Nintendo. You know, they're trying to make this game Zelda. Not every company can be Nintendo. Oh! My forward it is, I'm really enjoying this game so far. And I'm in, uh, looking forward to finding out more about the story. Now then. Those look familiar. Ooh. Oh, that's satisfying. I can really just... Oh. There must be something in the smoke. kind of funny.
Well, that is a save point, so I will start right there. Fuck yes! At least you have to be on the ground. And Kay returns to a pocket universe located on the outskirts of hell. You know, I saw one of those back in the uh, second level that I didn't get when I was going over the footage. This is clearly uh, near Hell's Bathhouse, because it's as steamy as a sauna in here. <laughs> Hell's Bathhouse. Hello? What the fuck are you? I don't know if this is actually meant to be in hell, but I'm pretty sure those are actually meant to be demons. That in mind. Oh. Bees! Hey, where the hell? I can't seem to grab them. I have enough noise going on without you going. Okay. Lots of coins everywhere. That was a clusterfuck. No! Well, oh well. You don't win them all. Yoink! Jesus Christ, I thought that was a one for a second. Where have my lives gone? When I get back out to the real world, I should check to see if anything's inscribed on the uh, pillars next to the portal. I think I got everything, it's kind of hard to tell. Whoa! Can I just say that I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've already said this? But I really like that picking up magic points or hearts when you already have full magic or health ugh, gives you a single coin instead. You know, it's not, it doesn't make that big a difference in the long run, but it, it feels like it's rewarding you for already having, you know, a full bar at that point. And I really appreciate that. Up I go. Watch it be some impossible puzzle. Or at the end of the game I have to recite the order that all of those things came in. Of course, I'll actually be able to do that. <laughs> I'll be able to just go on YouTube and watch my own videos. Oh, Torchy! Yo, knock it off! 
clear out, you scurrying little rodent, before I turn on the old flamethrower here. Okay, current plan. Fuck those, uh, crystals. Let's just get across and not die. And everything is great. How much do you want to bet? But the maximum number of extra lives I can carry on me at any one time is nine. You was a rat. Well, now the light's better, I can see you no rat. You're the bloke who took out Borax. Some good fighting, that. Mm. That's just good training. I'm after Tack. Have you seen him? Seen him? I near smoked him. He come in here after me, that cheese breath vermin. Ha! You said it. See, they got these special transforming amulets. Turns a mild beast of burden into a beastly burden. Great fearsome monsters they are. It's not to trifle with the likes of them, lad. Okay, but Tack won't get away with this. Not as long as this cat warrior still draws breath. Be careful, mate. Lots of animals have taken up with Tack, and that Tack is using alchemy. I'll be careful. And please, can you take care of the hares? You can rely on it, my furry friend. Thanks. See ya. I've just realized that I've been going since the timer ended in the demon video, so I'm in the demon cave, so I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of K. Later!